said I was clout chasing y'all. Clout chasing what, huh? Oh shit, you don't know me, pissy. Oh. You leave me the fuck alone. I am pissy. Now you wanna do this beef thing? I can go there and get ignorant on you, or I can be respectful. Ooh. So fuck you and you, uh, uh, whore. Don't Ooh. ever approach me like I'm your bitch. Ooh. All right. Ooh. 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 This is for y'all, not mine. He sounds gay, saying that uh, he probably want to roll the stuff. And I heard this. So I can be accurate, and she called me a liar. Uh, she said, why would I have to talk to you if you had the same? Well, you're right, but you wanted to interview me. So I didn't talk to you as people do. I don't understand how people get on here and want to start beefs or whatever, sister. We're not trying to start no beef. No, I did not. Okay, I'm trying to get an interview. First of all, you tell me he's after old women. I don't want your old, decrepit, wrinkled, fat ass. Fuck you. I said it with an emphasis. Fuck you. I still love God, but you're a bitch. Fuck you. I love God. All right, guys. So this is where Religion Link TV steps in. You know my name is Spirituality. T E A. And my spiritual ears stay. What the hell you mean you love God? I keep telling you somewhat some of the Christians out here in this world. If you love God, you'll do better in God. Now, with that being said, you all, I reached out to Miss Olivia, the Oracle Speaks, to ask her if I could use a portion of her video to go live today so I can rebuttal some of the things this man says in the spirit. All right, now with that being said, I haven't heard from her yet, so I'm taking a chance on putting this little clip in it right here, but I know that she used Larry's clip with no problem, so I'm thinking I can use the portion of Larry with no problem under the Fair Use Act, because I'm going to teach you Christians something here today in the Lord, uh, that's L A. Double, 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 U to the 10th degree, D. See, the law of the Lord is what's missing in this land, okay? So, welcome to the house of O Lord, where pressure makes diamonds or it busts pipes. Gotta be built for this. The choice is yours. But remember to stay humble. And if pressure busts pipes, what do you think it will do to a person or a real man, as we heard Larry say in that uh, response to Miss Olivia yesterday? He kept saying how much of a real man beating his chest like King Kong. <laughs> he even said something to the effect uh, he slept with a hundred or ten thousand by the time he was a certain age want me to send you my pictures ain't isn't this what got the people in the circumstance they are pictures phone numbers wanting to talk to people he even hell said something to the effect uh i thought this might be a smut call <laughs> and then he mentioned talking to Five A on the phone, and we kind of all know on YouTube allegedly that they may have did something because they live in the same area, right? But not only that, some people have alluded to the fact that she's Jezebel and may be a little smutty on these YouTube streets. Now, check it out. Angry is as angry does. And I'm going to tell you people something. I'm coming back today, Larry Nelson. I said your name. God bless you. And I am going to go live. And the title will be Larry Nelson. I'm clout chasing off his name. But you got to just stay tuned and hit that notification bell. You guys have to come back and hear this live. Because I'm tired of the devil misleading people in the world of Christianity. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. But you people are weak in the spirit. With all the rambling and the cursing and the carrying on this man did. If he was saying more of the word of God. He would have been acting less like the devil. But instead he let the devil get in his mind. In his heart. In his soul. In his spirit. And he's already controlling the flesh. And then this man. Goes off. The narrow road, the broad road, the high road, the low road, every road he can to prove what point and to who. 
only to say I want to do better. So first, let's work on self-control. Because if you can't even control your own tongue, God forbid the devil getting on you, putting a bridle on your tongue like as if someone is riding a horse and leading you to and fro. Crazy as hell in this world. Saying shit out your heart. That you want to say to other people. And I'm telling you. You misdirected your anger toward Miss Olivia. And it may be some anger there very well. Because she did say. Allegedly. That you gay. And you like men. But how many times did you say F her and her husband. See I told you Christians. If you want to be gay for the kingdom of heaven. You should find yourself in Matthew 19 and 22. Where Christ your Jesus my Messiah in the red letters said. Oh let me give you this Bible tea right now Larry. Because just like Jay Wilson and anybody else. Wiley on these streets in the word of God. Um, anybody. Anybody. In the word of God. And I got some relatives. That that's gay. I told you my niece Asha. She dated two women in her life. And the woman she with now is pregnant. And she been with the woman for the love of God. For the last five or six years. No disrespect to her. Or her um, girlfriend. But it is what it is. But when you speak the right word against it. They'll avoid it. My niece don't come around me that much. Because she know I got the word in me. I'm not in the word, but the word is in me. I sit under the word, so the word sits over me. But let me go ahead and get you to Matthew 19 and 22, Larry. If you are dealing with uh, the issue of being gay and, and are afraid to come out, take the word of God a little bit more seriously. Apply it all to your life. Not the, the, just the parts that make you rich and make you feel good. But get your butt over to Matthew... 19 I keep saying 22 is 12 19 and 12 sorry about that it's 19 and 12 Matthew 19 and 12 I stand corrected you know real women men and women we can admit when we wrong can you admit when you're wrong, folks of the YouTube streets. All right, let's get it. Verse 11 says, But he said unto them, and who is that he said? The spirit of the living God, of the most high God, right? Not this white-faced Jesus that allow you to act like you do in Christianity and Christendom, Larry. See, this white Jesus allow you to get on here and curse the devil like the devil and curse women like they the devil and curse like you the devil and curse people out like they demonic and you, you, you are more afflicted than many of us. But thank God many are the afflictions of the righteous and God shall deliver them from them deliver us from them all if you want to be delivered. Matthew 19 and 12. For there are some eunuchs which were born so from their mother's womb. It's okay, guys, to be gay. I think a eunuch is a modern day gay man. It's okay. But check out what it says. Because some of y'all was born that way from your mother's womb. If you admit it and start to live in it, you'll be at peace and won't be on these streets cursing people out like you the damn devil. Allegedly. Now let's go on. Because remember, the, the strong in the word of God must bear the infirmities of the weak. And that's what I'm trying to help you out, Larry. But in order to help you out from that crucifixion over there that Olivia gave you, the flesh has to die in order for the spirit to rise, right? So let's go on. Shout out to you, Olivia. All right. Which were made eunuchs of men? You said something about somebody made you a bitch. You ain't just somebody bitch in that video. I said, oh, no, the hell he didn't. Don't he know I asked Jay Wilson, how are you gay, Jay Wilson? Born that way of your mother? Made that way of men? Somebody make you your bitch, that bitch. <laughs> Most men become that way in prison. That's where they got it from on the plantations. 
it was passed in from the European Caucasian white man. Can you see how this is adding up, Larry? And you keep wanting to follow that religion of Christianity that bestowed it upon you in the beginning. Hello. So then, which, um, it goes on to say, and there be eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. And I remember men castrating themselves back in the day. Because they ain't want to stick their penis in other men, but some of you like to. That's why you got some men out here like T.S. Madison that wear a wig, have titties, and still have a penis below. They take it and receive it. But real women don't want to strap on no penis, have no penis, to insert it into a man. She don't want that kind of man, first of all. She wants a man's man. And that's all I hear you said in that video. I'm a real man. I'm a, who are you trying to prove it to? Then you came back with a video. Your daughter had to prove something to you and said, no, dad, you ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. Well, you said you wanted to prove something through your daughter. But when you were telling that story about your daughter and her getting your clothes and sleeping in them and taking them for souvenirs, it was freaking creepy to my spirit. Having everything allegedly being said about the other daughter and accusations, yeah, you may not be in jail, but you sure as hell is in the prison of your own mind. Confound. Satan working the shit out you, young man. And that's another thing. Allegedly, they say you like them so young where you got naked babies allegedly on your lap bouncing them. Like, so I don't know. Fabe telling some story over there. Don't quote me on that. You know what I'm saying? And then, because I, I, a lot don't care who tell it. And she tells plenty of it. <laughs> let the chips fall where they may, right? <laughs> and let the word of God reside on those that it shall fall. Because there is some deaf ears out here. And Christianity, Larry, is making those around you and you deaf to the word of God. Because all y'all evangelists and people and all this stuff is losing your damn mind on these damn YouTube streets. And I have no dog in this fight, but I have a spirit in this world that can discern and recognize the wickedness of a religion called Christianity that got you people out here liking, uh, acting like and unliking to the leader, the devil, the satans and satanics, demonicness of this world. And you want me to be a part of that religion. So, for those of you who want to be gay, either way, there's three choices. And you can lie about what choice. Just come out the closet, be yourself, especially he that is, it says, especially for the kingdom of heaven's sake. It says, which they made themselves eunuchs. For the kingdoms of heaven's sakes. They didn't want to lie with the Romans. They didn't want to be another man's bitch. They didn't want to be born that way or they mother. They wanted to be a man. But they were forcing people to lay with other men back in the days. Ain't nobody forcing you, Larry. You have a free choice. Ain't nobody forcing these men out here. You lay with who you want to lay with. But the word of God speaks over you laying down this and just like they laid me down by still waters and I heard the word of God you better lay your ass down by some damn still waters cause you, going, you running rampant in these YouTube streets he that is able to receive it let him receive it look 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 thus saith the Lord now that's a prophecy for your ass right there that's a prophet telling you what thus saith the Lord how, how if you people calling you gay how is you gay? If you defending gay, somebody call me gay. Hell, I'll ignore that shit because I know I don't like a woman. And I don't know none attractive to me. Because I'm not giving off that aura. All that shit you over there talking about just suave. Man, that was the most feminine shit I've ever seen. And yep, this video is going up. I'm sorry. 
But I'm not going to sit over here and let the devil keep defeating people. And they hollering they are Christian. When the Christians are the Hebrew Israelites of the world. Steady being oppressed and deceived within their own mind. Because Satan knew the greatest trick ever is to make you think he don't exist. When he really is dwelling within your mind. So people, if you haven't already... Hit that subscription box. Please, 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 please come back and let us sister know. But before you go, get your butts over to teespring.com and get this mug, please. I don't generally ask for money, but I need some right now. You need this mug right here. You need a Religion Wink TV. The logo is... Religion I wink at is wink. People are out here living as Christians acting like Larry, right? And then I tell you we lace over here. So if you want to go ahead and get Wink Stars We Lace t-shirts from teespring.com, I appreciate it because we are lace over here. L-A-Y-S-E. That is looking at you side-eyed, Okay. If you are the evil of the world, like the Larrys of the world, they're calling themselves Christians, but acting worse than the devil uh, himself. You understand what I'm saying? People, you got to get mad at something eventually. Get mad at the way your so-called brethren and sisters are acting and behaving in this world. Stop feeding into it. Stop giving them... The clout they looking for, even though it's a negative come up. To sit here and rant on your life like you done lost your damn mind. That's why I got out of Christianity. Because y'all make me, God, everybody that's trying to do it right, look bad. And guess what, Larry? I still have people, men, call my phone. I've never sent a text message, email, tick. Titty, 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 big titty, titty, big, big titty, whatever, pick, coochie pick, none of that, that I'm aware of in my sound mind. But I did used to date this one dude named Fu, and I swear Fu room probably was rigged with freaking cameras. He was that kind of dude, you know what I'm saying? But he met, I, I, I don't know. They said one time he went down South Carolina and was selling them now. Let me stop. <laughs> I, he was, but I don't think it was of me. I think I was that chick, Larry, that he was kind of digging at the time. But I think his room was rigged. So, y'all, if y'all see any footage of me out there, let me know. That's why my ass don't go over on Facebook that much. Because Facebook was one of those things where, mm-mm. Let me just, I'm going to go to 20 minutes here. Facebook was one of those things where um, they be DMing you. Ooh, I saw you in the video. Ooh, and it be all kinds of hacking. And I said, you know what? Let me leave these folks alone. Y'all say hey, Facebook is the devil. I say, you know what? Don't nobody run me nowhere. But if I had a choice right now, I'd rather go over on Facebook and see them use Facebook as a therapeutic mental health uh, clinic or ward. Because that's what I think people on Facebook do compared to you people over here who trying to kill people for a coin. Mm-mm. You, spiritually you're killing people, but you really want to pull the guns out and the knives out. Over what? Words? When you have a freedom of speech, it's you who are easily offended and Christ says, woe unto you. People could say what the hell they want to say about you, Larry. Allegedly, they say you gay. And that make you flip out. See, it's people who generally are doing this shit, get mad when people say it, and they try to cover it up with the anger because, damn, you've been finally found out. Your sins will find you out. You're clockable, as they say, allegedly, because of your feminine swag. Hell, I got brown eyes, and you don't see nobody out here trying to call me and twinkle at me and have smut conversations with me. And if they did, I shut that shit down when I first got on YouTube. That's because you Christians love the drama. You love the mess. You're still like pigs rolling around in the mud. You're not the sheep. 
that God created, who the world hated. Because now the world don't got to hate you because you hate yourselves. So, we got a little bit over 30 seconds to go, you all. Let me go ahead and ask you guys to please go over to Amazon.com. You can get Christmas books, baby books, beyond some of the first protests when Moses said, let my people go. A call to repentance because everybody needs to turn from their wicked ways and face God. You can get your baby boy and girl first year book. And then we have some other books here called My Tweens because your children are on Facebook, you are on YouTube, social media. Get them back to those journals where my favorite place is. It's called mybook.com for the tweens. All right, and with that being said, you also can get spirituality there. All you have to do is put in Drew L. Murray. My book shall pop up mixed in between with a little, other books mixed in between it. But you'll get the picture. So with that being said, crazy is as crazy does. Pressure makes diamonds or it bursts pipes. <laughs> you got to be built for this. And a lot of people is not even built for Christianity, let alone the kingdom of God, let alone the word of God, let alone God himself. But remember, God said the choice is yours. It's a free will. And if you stay humble turn from your wicked ways those who are called by his name the israelites the christianites of the world today and face him face him larry face him every other christian right now face the lord and say lord i repent for serving another god because the god i serve larry whether I'm white Christian or black Christian or Hebrew Israelite and Yahweh, the most high God, we are not serving the same God. I could tell you that just by hearing what came out your mouth. So you all, if a person burst, if a pressure bursts pipes, what do you think it will do to a person or a real man? Such as Larry Nelson and the likes thereof who calls themselves Christians under the faith of a white man named Jesus and wonder why they running around here acting like the damn devil and the fools that they are <laughs> this is your girl Religion Link TV I'm coming back live hit that subscription box hit the bell icon next to it y'all give your girl some love over here because I don't give a damn what you think about me Larry ain't no way in hell I'm gonna go on a rant in between it everybody know I love God but there's so much I'm gonna let come out my spirit that begins to sound like there's no God in me. And with that being said. May God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. And let his shalom. Peace. Be in you. This is your girl. Religion Wink TV. This is the channel. This is the network. Religion Wink TV. And I'm your girl, Spirituality, because my ears stay ringing to the fuck shit of these Christians out here that keep acting and saying they love God, but show no power thereof to the place where they can't even control their own tongue or what comes out of a man that makes them unclean. Because remember... Your white Jesus, my black Messiah, said in the red words. It's not what goes into a man that makes you unclean. It passed through you like dung. But it's what comes out of a man that makes him defiled. And what, come at, what came out of you, Larry Nelson, one ex-Christian to a Christian, one believer to a Christian, one child of God to a Christian. That was foul, man. That was the foul. 
that that was wicked. 